Part 2, how to backup and restore the stock globe firmware. Please watch part 1 because this is just a continuation of that and will only work if you have not flashed the firmware permanently. So to dump the firmware, you need to log in to the dashboard, navigate to system, backup slash flash firmware. It is under save MTD block content. On the list, click firmware, then click save. This file is now the stock low backup. I will not be uploading this file, so you need to create your own. So checking the file size is 16 megabytes. Let's rename this to a more memorable name. Globe S12 Pro Backup. Now we are ready to restore any ZLT S12 Pro to this firmware. To try this, let's try using WinSCP Putty. This assumes that you are already using OpenWRT on your Zilti S12 Pro. So again, download WinSCP on the official website. And then you need to install it to your device or laptop or desktop. Click Next. Customize if you want. Next, next, and install. Now start the program up to the installation. On the protocol, click SCP. Host name must be 192.168.1.1. And for the username, enter root. We are now logged into the router. Navigate to TMP and copy the backup firmware there. Right click, upload, and OK. After this, we need to start PuTTY and create an SSH session for us to be able to restore the firmware. So let's start PuTTY. Under hostname again 192.168.1.1 On the protocol, click SSH and open Connect once Log in as root Let me maximize this one for you to see So root Let us now change to the TMP folder And now let's check the partition names As you can see, MTD4 is the firmware partition. This will be the one to be overwritten by the backup firmware. Now oh, let's verify again. And we are now ready to write the partition. Or overwrite the partition. Now do not mess this one up because you may make their device bricked or unusable. This may take a while. Just a note, this is tested only for the Globe ZLT S12 Pro. If you have a similar device from the different country, do at your own risk. We are not liable if you break your device. So credits again to Backspace team for this tutorial and for the OpenWRT port.
This is really how long it will take to flush the firmware. It is slow. As you can see, we are now completed writing the firmware. We should now reboot the device for it to use the stock firmware again. So on the left side, you can see the serial output of the boot up process. It may take one minute or two to boot back to the stock firmware. We can now try to log in to the web dashboard of our Globe device. And as you can see, we are now back to the Globe firmware. Try to log in your old password. And it works. I have removed my SIM card to prevent it from upgrading the latest Globe firmware. And this concludes the video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or inquiries, you can chat us on the Backspace Discord. More videos regarding Zail Pro is to come. Stay tuned.